Good morning, everyone. This is Doc Training Web Series. My name is Sajan, and I work for Doc 365 Incorporated. I uh, hope you've been enjoying my videos. What I did on Microsoft Flow integration with SharePoint, Dynamics 365, Mailchimp, and of course OneDrive for business. So today, I just thought of you know making a much more simpler video on uh, let's say I'm creating a item in a SharePoint list and the next thing what I need to do is send out a notification email to one of the users saying that hey you know what there's a file that's been added or a new list item has been added to your SharePoint list it's always good to have notifications right otherwise how, how are you ever going to know about a file being loaded to your SharePoint list so it's always good to configure some of the notifications so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this feature so click by the way you can search for templates it says uh, customize email when a SharePoint list item is added so you can search for that right so basically it sends a customized email when a new SharePoint list is added. So I've already configured here, so I'm just gonna show how it works. So this is how it is. Uh, you just need to up, you know, uh, log in with your Microsoft credentials, I mean, your uh, Office 365 credentials, and then it's good to go. So the next thing what you need to do is when an item is created, so what you have to do is copy the SharePoint site right and then the next thing you need to do is to select the list name so I have selected company so um, for the record I mean we have a SharePoint ready to go intranet portal it's called doc intranet portal uh, which caters department portals like sales IT HR I um, employee resources so there's a lot actually so what I've taken as an example is the sales companies list, right? So this is our ready to go intranet portal called Doc. And it's powered by SharePoint Online. So what we have done is we have built in department portals like sales, finance, HR, IT, training, marketing. Also, we have an advertising portal, which is pretty good for media agencies and we also have an e-store um, application as well so I'm taking an example of our sales department so basically I need to run a workflow where a salesperson goes ahead and adds a contact or a company name into the company's list right so this is the company's list what we have created right this is SharePoint library and uh, has a lot of information over here so what I need to do is I need to create a workflow let's say when a new item is added into the companies it has to go through my office 365 fetch the profile and then send an email that's it so who is gonna add a new item the name so this is the body of the email it's like hi given name so that's basically me and the new item as was added at the create date by create uh, the display name who, who actually created it and also the name of the file I can also go ahead and add more details right yep so I can do that as well so there are different uh, dynamic content that you can add within this uh, email body and then also I have advanced options I can go ahead and specify the from address and the ccbcc the attachment name so and you know if it's an important email i can set that as, as well or if it's an html so i can go ahead and also configure those and then i click on update flow and then the flow gets updated and so what you need to do is click on done and then that's it your new flow is running so you'll be able to send customized email when a new SharePoint list item is added so I've done with the flow I've created the flow now let's let's see how it works in SharePoint so what I'm gonna do is this is the folder that have 
defined in my flow basically. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new item. So this is the scenario. I mean, let's say I'm a sales rep and I'm adding a new company. Yeah, and then also I can select the owner. The owner here basically means who owns this account or who, who's actually working on this account in terms of sales, right? So select, so that's a lookup basically. It, it looks for your uh, users that is within your SharePoint account. Status is new. And then it's a prospect. And then I click on save. Okay, so a new record has been added. So that's what I added, the Frisco LLC. And I have all the details, right? It's all listed over there. Now, the next thing what I need to check is, uh, have I received an email? Here you go. So this is the email that I've received. So I've opened this email, so that's the subject. A new list item has been entered in doc companies folder. So this is the user, so mod administrator, that's a user, a new item has added at this time by, because it was me, and the details is Frisco LLC. So I've received an email, so that's how you set up a notification in Microsoft Flow when you add a new item in SharePoint list. So that's it from me and I'm going to come up with more and more videos. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and have a great day.